What's up, fam? It's your boy B. High back on the check-in. And, uh, hey, man, it's not looking real good for R. Kelly right about now. You know, he was recently attacked while he was in jail, and he's trying to get out on bail or a bond, but they ain't trying to give him that. And, I mean, here's what's really going on with that right now. A New York court has denied R. Kelly's request to be released from federal prison on bail after he was assaulted by a fellow inmate who claimed the government made him attack R. Kelly. The three judges that, you know, denied his bail basically said that, you know, they feel like they were justified in keeping Kelly locked up without bail and that they determined that he was a flight risk and his release could endanger the community. So that's what they saying about R. Kelly. You know, R. Kelly, who is now 53 years old, is awaiting trial on several dozen counts of state and federal sexual misconduct charges in Illinois, Minnesota and New York. He has appealed his detention without bond six times. The latest ruling came days after lawyers for Kelly filed a motion on Friday asking that the apparent gang member who violently ambushed Kelly on August 26th be acquired for questioning under oath. The defense had hoped that having Jeremiah Shane Farmer, the convicted Latin Kings member who confessed to the attack, corroborate the details could help with Kelly's appeal. Kelly's attorney, Michael Leonard, charged that the staff at the Bureau of Prisons facility even encouraged Farmer to attack R. Kelly. You know, Farmer, who is 39 years old, is currently serving a life sentence at MCC Chicago for racketeering conspiracy connected to a 1999 double homicide. He was convicted in 2019 for the deaths of Marion Lowry and, and Harvey Sagers. The two men were beaten to death with a small sledgehammer inside their business and found with severe blunt force trauma wounds to the head, you know. Farmer, who has a F Defense tattoo on his face, revealed his identity as the selling in motion titled, The Government Made Me Attack R. Kelly. Farmer said he was forced to attack R. Kelly in hopes of getting spotlight attention and world news notice to shed light on the government corruption. That's according to documents obtained by the Chicago Tribune. An incident report from the Bureau of Prisons attached to Farmer's filing said that he managed to separate from prison guards into R. Kelly's cell as he slept and repeatedly stumped on his head. Kelly remained on the bottom bunk during the incident and was only saved when security deployed pepper spray at Farmer. Attorneys indicated that Farmer's questioning would include but not be limited to the role that any MCC personnel played in the attack. It appears that MCC personnel simply followed Mr. Farmer, allowed him to carry out the attack, and then only intervened after Mr. R. Kelly had already sustained serious injuries, the court document stated. You know, they're also saying that Farmer also followed through with the attack because of R. Kelly protesters outside of the prison that caused everybody to be on lockdown. You know, they're saying that the lockdown apparently upset other inmates and sparked tension. R. Kelly's attorney said Mr. Kelly was the victim of an unprovoked attack while incarcerated at the MCC because of who he is. It's clear the Bureau of Prisons cannot adequately accommodate the need to keep him safe. And uh, there you have it, man. You know, it's looking like they're basically trying to throw away the key on R. Kelly, and he might not be getting out of jail anytime soon, okay? Because if they don't want to give him bond, then nine times out of ten when he goes to trial, he's going to already have time served going into that thing, man. So, uh, this is just another sad situation right here, man. I hate to see it. But uh, we'll see how this stuff continues to pan out, you know. Hopefully we receive some clarity about it all real, real soon. But I'll keep y'all updated as I find out more details, man. Be high radio shouty. More content on the way. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Get down with the movement. And I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute. I'm gone.